another day starts with elk in the yard. And we see the baby down there. Baby's kind of a lazy baby. He lays around a lot. You see him down there. He's not very big at all. Laying down there, eating. There's a mama elk, and the other elk is a, probably last year's baby. And another big, beautiful elk right there. They are big animals. What can I say? Just big animals. We still don't have our pump. Well, you look how dark that animal is on one, one side. I guess it's just the, the sun. The sun hasn't come up yet. The elk are just not paying a whole lot of attention to me this morning. Yesterday morning, there was seven of them out here, and they, they took off running. You can just look and see. Up there, looks a little bit skinny. They're such big, fat things. Look at this one over here. And you see how fat she is. I guess that other one's probably the one that's nursing that baby. I, I, uh, let's say start to start to think of seeing some nubbins there on that elk, but I don't think so. We've got some big bulls. I don't know, is there anything? No, maybe it's just a big old cow. Oh, and look at that gorgeous lake this morning. It's all fish hitting the top of the water. You see happening out there. A lot of activity. Those are little bluegill and stuff, striking bugs and stuff on top of the water. Kind of almost looks like it might be big old raindrops, but it's not. There's just a lot of bluegill striking the water. I'm zoomed in there. Zoom back out and you can kind of see what the morning really looks like. And that's what the morning really looks like. Absolutely gorgeous morning here at the Eagle. Just after daylight. And that is what we wake up to this morning on the lakeside. Absolutely gorgeous. A quick peek out front finds <laughs> not much out here. Looks like there's no deer on the property. And there is <laughs> at the Texas Hunter feeder, one more elk. One more elk. I don't see anything else. I've seen Snow White, Prince Charming, Casper and Ice in the uh, albino enclosure. The babies haven't come out yet this morning. They are sleeping in. And I don't blame them. One more big elk. So it's an elk morning. An elk morning this morning. And that elk says, I don't like your talking. I'm getting out of here. Buddy, that's a big fat one. Wow. I mean a fat one. But he did hear me talking. A quick look over there. And his Prince Charming. And his big, beautiful. Big, beautiful antlers. Snow White heard me talking also. I feed those deer right there a lot through the through the uh, through the fence. They eat out of my hand, both of them. There comes Casper. Casper's the smaller of the two. I don't know if that was Ice or Casper, to be honest with you. I don't see the other one sticking his head out around there. Look at the size of those antlers, will you? I mean, those are serious, serious antlers. Wow, wow, oh, what a beauty. Oh, here comes the other little deal. I think that, I don't, I'm doing my stuff. I'm thinking I'm seeing the baby back behind. Maybe I'm not, I think I am though. I think I see little legs stuck out back there behind. <laughs> oh yeah, when I move over here a little different angle, there he is. Uh, I think that's the larger of the two. I believe that is Ice. Ice is the larger of the two babies. It's gonna be really hard to tell them apart. It won't matter whether I call them Casper or Ice, because you know I can't keep anything straight anyway. I call my kids by the wrong name sometimes. I've heard of guys that call their wives by the wrong name in the middle of the night in a dream. Not good. <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Look in the yard this morning. Look in the yard this morning. It is absolutely full 
of turkeys. And there's Mr. Forrest down there and TC, his father, like father, like son, and they are beautiful, feeding on the grass. But look at all the turkeys, my goodness. What a flock of turkeys. I don't know if I can zoom in and get much good stuff there. Shooting from inside the house. Got the morning news on there. Chris is still in bed. There is a beautiful shot, though, of Forrest. He can hear me talking even inside. They hear so well, so he's starting to move around to the feeder. Forrest is in there, and then but look at the turkeys. My goodness, my goodness, my goodness. That's Thunder Chicken with the long beard dragging the ground. His beard is actually wearing off So There's some other gobblers. Ma very mature jakes this time of the year. It'll be really nice next year. There's hens, more hens. They're just scattered everywhere. Huge bunch. You know, it depends. I don't know, My, some of you might say that's not huge. I don't know how many turkeys is out there. I didn't count them. Oh, look at that buck. That is TC, thunder cloud. There is one, two. Oh, here comes another deer come up by, by the lake. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. There's at least 10, there may be one or two behind something there that I can't see. There's a couple peeking out from behind that light. That That's Thunder Chicken, no. I don't know, there's two big gobblers out there. That may be Thunder Chicken, and that may be just another big gobbler. <laughs> there may be some more bucks down there by the lake in those weeds. They hear me talking from inside the house and they started moving over, but let me walk up there and see if, see if I can get a, a little bit better look at them. They're probably gonna all run. It's so funny when they're around here in the front, it's hard to walk out here and get a good clean shot of them. You see they're kind of all gathering up there in a bunch. Is that pretty? That's pretty, isn't it? <laughs> now we can count now maybe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh, I did miscount, didn't I? Back away, go back in, and back away, and we see, we see heaven on earth right here in southern Oklahoma. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Look at that, boys and girls. That's life in the country. A life lived ecstatically with much joy i wonder i wonder if we can get the babies to eat corn on the cob how about eating some corn on the cob come here whitey looky here <laughs> look at this look at this oh my goodness <laughs> oh sneezing scared him a little bit how about eating some corn on the cob huh how about eating some corn on the cob? Huh? <laughs> hey, hey, can you get it? Can you get it? Can you get it off there? Can you get it off there? I need to take it off there, don't I? There you go. There you go. <laughs> I got one more. I got one more. Where'd Forrest go? Come here, Forrest. Come here, Forrest. <laughs> <laughs> come here, Forrest. Come here, Forrest. Come on. Come on over here, Forrest. Come on over here, Forrest. Come on, boy. Come on, big boy. Come on. Come on, Forrest. Come on, let's see if you can eat some corn on the cob. Huh? I've had the little babies out for an hour, and they've just been eating and running around. They haven't gone anywhere. I'm getting ready to go in and fix some, uh, fix a plate for Chris to feed them. Here comes Forrest up here. Come here, Forrest. Here you go, buddy. You want some of that, huh? You want some of that? That's corn on the cob. That's corn, buddy. Hey, you picky thing. You picky thing. That's corn. You want this? You want some? Too much work, huh? Well, you silly goose. You silly goose. How about you? Kind of hard to get off there, isn't it? I need, to, I need to take my pocket knife and cut it off for y'all. That's what I'll do. I'll take my pocket knife and cut it off. <laughs>
The babies have been out for about uh, an hour and a half. I can only see one out there right now. Uh, I do see some of the bigger deer out there also. Uh, I've got some uh, couple of corn cobs out there. The babies were messing around with that. Oh, here's the baby's way over here. They're right over there. So uh, I'm going to wheel Chris out there. And uh, they've been out running around eating and just having a good time. They haven't gone very far off. And I've got Chris a, a bowl fixed up there for him. That's actually the, just the top of a... A bowl we had some barbecue in, sort of a big plate. It may spill, I don't know. But I've got some apples underneath that chopped up that I chopped up, cut up. And I've got some grapes and I've got some carrots on there. So I'm going to take those out there and let Chris feed the babies for a while. And uh, they've been out for quite a while. And they've stayed close, which is really, really good. Forrest is around, so we'll see what Forrest does when the babies start eating. I think Forrest may come over here want to get involved in that too. There's Forrest. He's over there by the... Uh, he's over there. Uh, he heard his name, didn't he? See him look up, he heard his name there. Forrest is over there with the gobblers. Four big, beautiful gobblers over there this evening. And gosh, they're pretty. Golly, they're pretty. And here's little Whitey up here. He come right up here, and I think, where is he? There he is. Oh, hi, Whitey. You gotta come up here and eat on some of the shrubs. Don't be eating the shrubs, boy. He's smelling the carrots and stuff that I have in here. So I'm gonna get down there and get in the yard and and uh, let Chris feed some of them. Okay, baby. Let's see how fast it takes them to to find you over here. I'm gonna lay that in your lap. Oh, we're gonna try to. Oh my goodness. I didn't want them to eat out of your eat out of the deal. Uh -huh. Where's Lucille? Yeah, Lucille. Where's Lucille? Come here, Lucille. Look you here. They're eating right out of your lap, aren't they? <laughs> Poor little Lucille. I guess she'll get up there and get what she wants. What's, what do you say, Lucille? What? <laughs> oh, honey. I think you got a deal going there. What do you think? Oh, what do you think? I think you have a deal going there. Oh, my goodness. That is so cool, babe. <laughs> you have to give a little suet a little Lucille some because she can't quite reach them like everybody else. She's trying, though, isn't she? She said, I'm not quite tall enough. Give her a carrot. Give a little Lucille a carrot. <laughs> little Lucille says, I'm tall enough. I'll just stand up here on Chris's foot pad. <laughs> that is so sweet right there, baby. You and your babies. You know, what's so cool is they've been out for over an hour now, and they haven't gone anywhere. They stayed right here in the front yard. They hadn't even hardly gone around the front yard. Most of the time, they've been inside all the time. I've actually got a, uh, I've got, got a couple pieces of corn in our video just a little bit. They can't have a hard time getting it off the cob. I think I'm going to get my knife and cut it off for them. I don't know if I carried that other, I don't know if I carried that other one, that other piece of corn in or not. But I'm going to try to, this knife is super sharp. I'm going to be careful with it. Be careful and hit your hand with it, or it'll be bleeding all over. And cut the top of their head. I don't know if I took the other one inside or what I did with the other. This knife is just razor sharp. eating that corn. <laughs> oh, me. Look off over here. There's Forrest. There's Forrest over there, and he's saying, wonder why they're getting to eat. Come on over here, Forrest. Come on over here, and I'll give you some. Let's see. Let me feed Forrest here. Let me kind of move this around just a little bit. Poor old Forrest over there. 
See if I can get things leveled out here just a little bit. Well, it's not too good right there, but we're not we're not bragging about the camera work anyway, are we? I'm just gonna let that roll a little bit. Come here, Forrest. Oh, look, at, look at little Lucille get in there. Come here, Forrest. Come here, buddy. Yeah. All great. see what's going on there but I don't know if you can see him or not. He's coming in here. I got some grapes and apples. And I don't know if we're getting him on video or not. Look at, look at little Lucille. She's getting super aggressive isn't she? She's wanting, wanting her stuff too. That's pretty good isn't it for us huh? That's pretty good isn't it for us? Babies are saying, hey, don't be giving that to that big deer. He's going to run over all the whole wood 24 hours a day getting something to eat. And you're giving him our food. He's not going to get a bottle after a while, though. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> yeah, he's got it. See what you are. If you'll let me, I'll kill that horse fly. I see the horse fly there. If you let me, I'll kill it. I see it biting you. If you'll let me get it. Let me get it. Hey. I can kill that horse fly. I never have ever hurt you. you scared me dead and put that collar on, boss. Okay, that's about it. They just about eat it all up. Hey, go, little guys. <laughs> Lucille's having to chase those apples down. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> There's some corn there too, guys. Corn on the cob. They're going to clean it up, aren't they? There's still a lot of corn on the ground because the turkeys or deer or something leaves it all up. All right, guys. I'm going to go fix y'all some milk. Don't you run off. Don't you run off, baby. That's a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty cool, wasn't it, honey? Honey, your voice is just gravelly this evening. All right, babe. Hardly help look at the herd here at the house without looking at these guys right here. They're just absolutely fantastic. They're just super. I mean, I just can't believe how beautiful they are. And will you look how big those babies are standing up beside their mama, Snow White, and, you know, they're, they're like a lot smaller than... Prince Charming, who is not their father, but uh, he thinks he is. He doesn't know any different. He thinks he is. But she is actually bred to another doe that's, uh, believe it or not, bigger than he is. So those babies have got a chance to really, really be something special. They're all one big happy family right now. He thinks those are his youngins. But uh, just look at that. That's just absolutely spectacular. I'm talking spectacular. Look at Prince Charming. And you can see the little the, the babies have got the fawn gray on them there, or tan color, whatever you want to call it, kind of orangey. And I'm kind of looking to see if they got any little nubbins sticking out yet, but they, they, that, that biggest one might. The biggest one we call Ice, the smaller one we call Casper. Casper, the friendly ghost. Oh my goodness, my goodness, my goodness. Look out this window this morning. It is definitely a menagerie out there. It's a zoo, it's what it is. It's a wildlife sanctuary. Look at all the turkey and all the deer in the prayer circle. I think they're praying for Chris. Chris is got a fever and coughing. Chris can barely talk. And, uh, I 
think I have a COVID test here at the house. I'm gonna give that to her. We look on around, we see the white deer over there. See Prince Charming over there. There he is, you can see him in between all that hanging stuff out there and bird feeders. Look off over here, you see the babies. I see a couple of them and I saw all three of them out there a minute ago. There's just two right there, but I think I saw, I think I saw. Come on, camera, focus back in there. But I don't know how many turkeys are out there. All the deer. They're just everywhere. Oh, by the way, there's elk in the lakeside. So, it's quite a morning. The big forest out there with those big giant antlers. I'm telling you, I think they're still growing. Not growing really fast, but I think they're still growing. Absolutely amazing. Every day in paradise starts relatively the same way, and it still blows me away. Still blows me away. To look out there and see all of that. How good does it get? Look at that big buck, my goodness. And baby bucks and those craning on each other. <laughs> Isn't that something? Isn't that something? They're buddies. They're definitely buddies. My goodness. Just every time you kind of swing around and look, it looks a little bit different as they move around. But it looks fantastic. Never did see a hummingbird and all that swinging back and forth. What a deal, Lucille. Golly, 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 I would have loved to have got this on video. Look at the mess that Apache made in the yard. Not a big rattlesnake laying there, it's a big chain laying there. Look at there, look at there. Well, now we had this plan to do today and I've been out running around on the mule and Apache uh, has already done it, Apache and George. But that would have been fun to watch that fall, wouldn't it? Wouldn't that have been fun to watch that fall? We've had a dead feast, so we're gonna end this video this week by taking a look at the big mess that Apache made in the yard. We had a, uh, we had this uh, this old tree die, and every now and then we have a tree just dies for no reason at all. Maybe just old age, like all the rest of us. But uh, but this tree was gonna was leaning drastically toward back that little building back there where the babies are living, and I sure didn't want to fall on that building. It's gonna do a lot of damage if it fell on that building, and uh, so we decided to uh, cut it down. And uh, what George and Apache actually did was they notched the tree over on this side and hook that logging chain up to it. And uh, once it was notched over on this side, then they hooked the logging chain up and actually just pulled it down. And you can see that Apache has uh, already started to cut it up just a little bit there. He'll cut it up and clean all this up and get it out of here. But uh, that would have been fun to watch it fall. I kind of hate that I missed that. Sorry about that. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I'll bet the the white deer, I bet the albinos, and I bet the babies wondered what in the world is going on, especially when that chainsaw, chainsaw fired up. But there we have it. There we have it, a big mess in the yard. <laughs> and that'll wrap it up for this week's episode of the, the Yard Deer, Lucy's Herd, Deer at the Eagle. We call this uh, this little segment quite a bit of stuff, but it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Chris is involved in it now a lot, and she's really enjoyed it. She's really enjoyed taking care of her babies. Speaking of the babies, they just come out over there. You see them come out back behind me over there. Isn't that great? I bet they were wondering, what in the world is going on in my world? What in the world is going on? But they hear me out here talking, and 
Uh, that's a little whitey up there. It's not going to be too long until we let those deer out and they're going to be able to run around. But uh, the pen is getting closer to getting built. Uh, it's just about finished. And once that pen gets totally finished, we're going to move them over in a little bit larger space to move the, white, move the albinos over in a much, much larger space. Kind of a Cadillac pen. Hey, got a big, beautiful albino deer. He's got to have a big, beautiful pen for them. Guys and girls, have you a great one out there. And remember, I sure do love you.